One of the spiritual works of mercy is to pray for the living and the dead. And our readings today uh, illustrate this call to intercede in our prayers on behalf of others. A um, very powerful example. Uh, the first reading from the Old Testament speaks of the story of Queen Esther, who was um, a Jewish woman and uh, living in exile uh, from Israel. And so she was um, taken in as queen um, under the pagan king. And uh, during that time of her being queen, uh, the uh, second in command, who decides that he doesn't like the Jewish people uh, with the king's blessing, uh, sets a date for the extermination of all the Jews in that area. And, of course, it's posted, and, and all the Jews know that it's coming, and so they turn to Queen Esther. I mean, maybe this is why God has placed you in this position. Talk to the king. Tell him to stop this. Uh, because the king himself, to that point, didn't really know that Esther was Jewish herself. Their background ethnicity didn't really have that much to do with him. He didn't really care. It was the second in command who was, who was placed that. So in our reading today, we have, we have Esther engaging in prayer first to God uh, before she's going to go to the king to intercede on behalf of her people. Because it was actually uh, very dangerous for her to do so if she were to go into the presence of the king without him first asking her to come. And she couldn't rely upon him doing that prior to the extermination date. Um, in fact, the previous king had been um, dismissed for this very fact of, of uh, not doing exactly what the king wanted. <laughs> um, so she was in a very difficult place interceding before a human being. But that's why she intercedes first before God. Uh, because as Jesus says, those who intercede before God, if you ask, it will be given to you. If you seek, you will find it. If you knock the door, it will be opened to you. Um, Jesus here should give us great confidence to live out this work of mercy to intercede on behalf of others. Um, doesn't mean he always answers prayers exactly the way that we want, but he always hears them. And there is an answer. <laughs> and it's an answer according uh, to his will and according to his time frame. And so Queen Esther pours her heart out, interceding to first God on behalf of his people. And so with that confidence, knowing that God can do all things, and that he hears and answers our prayers, then she, with confidence, is able to go into the presence of the king um, safely <laughs> and uh, is able to um, win him over and is able to save all of her people from destruction. Very powerful example of being able to intercede on behalf of others. And so we do the same not only for those that are living, but also for those who have already died, so that they may be brought into the eternal presence.